able to tell me almost anything because I was able to talk back to them a certain way. I see. Tit for tat. Some experience. Mm. Mm. You suggest a little more digging before we think about bringing her on board properly. I would say talk with her some more. See if she gets too defensive with you. If she's too defensive, she probably won't be very good here. Mm. That is Especially true. if it comes to something you're asking her to look into. This is true. Your third's Casimir. At, the, at least based off Miss Basil's appraisal, maybe not bring, bringing her fully in if you intend to have her join our cause, at least for a while, test her loyalty. Agreed. They could work similarly to your uh, people in Corsetto and Balerno. They are in the group, but not uh, in the group. <clears throat> to sanctum, yes. <laughs> Definitely, I'll... If you won't. Hmm? You can always point her in my direction. Tell her somebody familiar. That could help. That might lower her guard a bit more. I'll talk to her myself, mm -hmm. see if I can uh, gleam anything and see how she acts. And if it seems good, then I'll pass her over to you for a bit more insightful looking and maybe a little bit of uh, training for what we're looking for. If you're okay with that, I of course. That. I don't want you to feel like you're being replaced. Oh, I am. Oh, I hope I'm not. <laughs> you're irreplaceable, Miss Basil. Mm. No, I am more than just a pretty face and soft words. Oh, I know. That's why you're here. <laughs> well. well. I don't mind giving her a little bit of push in the right direction. It would be good to have somebody actually in there. Agreed. All right, that... uh, bad things hadn't happened in there, I would still be there for you. I know. I do not blame you. Your position now is actually a little better, so think of it as a promotion. Oh. What? Really, more of a teacher. I will admit, with finding out that you are part of our ranks, I've been allowed to go out onto the other towns and check on our lads outside of Nottis. You've opened things up for Casimir. That's good to hear, then. So <laughs> Though I do, miss I do miss the gambling. <laughs> I'm sure you can still bring in the gambling <clears throat> over wherever you go. He has been, actually. <laughs> We've been uh, slowly gaining our coffers. Good. Yes, one of the taverns wanted to uh, start games of their own, so we helped push the idea a little bit <laughs> and get a bit of kickback ah, for it I see, I see. also as a side note i uh, did this without your knowledge but um the the young brewer clifford uh mm. yeah, i helped him with something and if he gets his way he will be in possession of a lot of money and a lot of income and because i helped him we will be getting a kickback from that too the fool was foolish oh, enough no. to shake my hand before we agreed on a price, so I'll figure something out that will help all of us. <laughs> you know that he is... Yeah, no, I can see. <laughs> <clears throat> He's very eager to achieve what he wants to do with this uh, vineyard thing. So I figured, why not? We will help him in return. A wine little uh, kickback. A winemaker with dreams, huh? <laughs> Yeah, haven't heard that one before. Well, he has many dreams. Hmm. Many, many dreams. Anyway, it was good to see the two of you together. Don't normally get that. But uh, we'll uh, leave you <laughs> two to it. If you need me, you know how to reach me. Understood. Might as well put that shirt in, huh? I'll switch it. You do have a wonderful night. You too. You go, um, you're already going. Why do you think we ordered a house with a balcony? Well, 
Well, she wanted me to tell you uh, to insist on eating a bowl before you left. But... I will. Uh, I'll be working late tonight. I'll eat it then. Well, I'll leave one of the burners on to keep it warm for you then. Always looking out for me. Thank you, Casimir. What do you need me for? So can't you just, no, like, just paralyze us? Inquire if you've seen the young lord by chance. No, but you want to know something funny you can do to a horse? Do I wa what? I don't want to know. <laughs> who who starts a conversation like that? When you see something you know, really funny? It's a war horse. Right. I'm, I'm it just kills kidding. people by their hooves. And this injury right. is not due to the war, so you'll be covering it with the no money you have. What? We just lost 30 what? silver. It's somewhere. 30 silver? Yeah, you lost 30 silver. Uh, that was you. Marco, uh, where are you going? Where are you uh, going? I, 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 I'm just to know what this 30 silver loss of revenue is about. Good I don't know, he was apparently... The guards. Oh, oh my god, god. no here. one's here to pay you. Oh, our what wages. Also the guards. Ah, I lost 30 silver. Whatever. Sergeant, if you would. I don't even know if he knows how much he had. I think he just threw out a random Sergeant. number. Sergeant, if uh, you should probably find about that number. If he was wrong, <clears> then it's yeah. quite important. He seems that...
<clears throat> Poor horse. Is it just me? The rest of the town seems to have either gone to bed or is very, very busy. You're plenty, Basil. In a good way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Evening. <laughs> so. Oh. What can I get you? I need. Hey, uh, I need hard liquor. Hard liquor? Uh, it's a medical emergency. Uh, by the way, Aka, okay, I have to ask. Oh, and uh, what is the medical emergency? When I, I think about certain people, I get irrationally angry. I am not. Ah, uh, this is this is an issue. Okay, are you still going to try and wander into my shop? I see. So how about this? That is getting you a, a true hard liquor. Uh huh. <clears throat> Make you a bloody anchor. I do like those. Has jalab in it. And there we go. Okay, thank you for your honesty, I guess. How's your evening been? Eh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I mean, it's not like we didn't just see each other at Lily's grave or anything. I know, but... <laughs> you know. But otherwise? It's okay. Good. How much do you... Keep it. Thank you, Basil. You're welcome. We have uh, annoying people most of the night, anyways. <sighs> <sighs> right. It is very quiet. Isn't it? Scary quiet. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with myself. Well, I suppose half the town is off doing something somewhere, I think. Yes. Some of the town is, yes. Everyone else, I have no idea what they're doing. <sighs> you think they'd be celebrating after everything? You would think. You would think. I did say night, but... Eh. Hmm. Look, it's our boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta help myself, I'm sorry. It was funny, it was very funny. Marco. assistance or something if you'd come with me to the keep yep keep it warm for me basil well, it's a good thing i gave you some hard liquor <clears throat> mm, didn't i tell you, you? finish it if no not, I'll... Uh, told you what to find mm, me yeah i'll hold it for thirsty. you Went to it Hello? let's go oh should i be worried oh it's a matter of the investigation your father was looking into which one? The uh, missing prisoners. Yes, uh, that one. <clears throat> we 
found a possible culprit, if not the culprit, but he's a bit uh, hard pressed to give answers. <clears throat> Especially with me and all of my boys trying to get answers out of him, so perhaps a more uh, noble touch. You can hear the venom dripping off your voice when you say that. Uh, I've tried everything that I can do, and that's a plethora of things besides going to uh, primal or pulling information, so you're really the last hope I have. I mean, based on what happened today, I might just go fucking primal, so... <clears throat> if that happens, I'll call you in and we can do it together. Whatever your wishes Please are. bananas. The A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> we have some leftover tools from the, um... Previous inspector who had a bit of a fascination. <clears throat> with the, uh, pulling things from people. I don't like using them, but... If we have to, we have to. <sighs> I'm sure you that it's him. The closest we lead God to either it being him or connected. I'm not too sure. Come on. Based on what evidence? Rise and shine. <sighs> In the presence of a Lord. His name, every time, he's either been on duty or overseen certain aspects of it. <clears throat> it's mighty suspicious. Good lord. Wait. I've tried my normal form of questioning, but to no avail he won't speak. Which I find odd because he used to be a good man. Not times change. Hmm. We have everything else upstairs if you want to bring him up there. Sure. <clears throat> Come here. Don't make me fucking grab you. <clears throat> You know how to walk forward. Let's go. All the way up. <laughs> Come here. Inspector, wouldn't this room be more appropriate? Bloody my fucking desk. <clears throat> sure, why not? Wouldn't be the first time. <clears throat> Tools are on the cabinet to the right. Everything you could possibly imagine. So, I'm going to give you one last chance to truly explain what dealings you're having and why it's so interesting that these prisoners are being handed off without informing me or the custode. Tyler, as you begin to stare at the man in question in front of you, you watch as the custode's name is mentioned, there's a sadness in his eyes. In a sense of somewhat failure. It's hard to tell, to be honest. But with a 15, you can tell 
There's a sense of distress. Not so from the treatment, but the position, maybe? That's hard to tell. Still fucking nothing. I told you it was a tough nut to crack. I'll have a chat with him. I'm sure we can become friends. What's his name? You want him on the table? He can sit down. It's, um... <clears throat> Cortez! Hmm. Right, why don't you leave me and Cortez here oh. and I'll uh, have a chat. <clears throat> of course. Still let him fuck up my seat, nor the custodes. <laughs> Alright, Cortez. You know who I am, right? brings a man to do this. Hey, my lord, if you'd like, his record's over here. Just find the scroll really quickly. <clears throat> oh, here it is. Let's have a look at your record, then. As you begin to look at the record, Kyler, you <clears> see <throat> it's quite distinct. He's participated in all the activities when it came to the robber baron attacks, it trying to instill defense and protect his fellow men. He's see records of him pulling out his own brothers-in-arms out of horrid situations where they've been overly ambushed and outnumbered. It seems he's always put himself on the final line. Almost in a sense, ruling. From a six, he just places himself in a lot of dangerous situations that seem a little necessary. It's a clean record. You go above and beyond for your fellow guards, even risking yourself, consistently. Not many soldiers have those sort of qualities, so I ask the question, what drives someone like that to do something like this? Oh. Kyler, you watch as the man's <clears throat> eyes break in front of you. You see tears slowly welling up on the sides. His hands are shaking. His body is shaking. As you were reading off the records and everything is saying. The distress of the man seems to be growing by the second. <clears throat> With a natural 20, you can feel he's on an edge of some sort. <clears throat> he didn't want to do it. Did you? You were forced to? Can't answer any of your questions. You can. And doing it this way is a lot easier than the other ways. I fought alongside your companions, your friends. I've been in similar positions as these. I know the fear that welds up, and don't say you don't have fear. But the fact that you pushed through it. Please, 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 no, no, you didn't. I cannot answer I any more of your questions. You see tears <clears throat> running on the side of his eyes. There's I will not. A, less a sense of fear more than anything that you're seeing clear as day now. 
It's you... not fear from in itself. I will not. Not at all. You know? There's something else. Something's on it, yes. but not a boy. <laughs> Maybe another's. No more questions. <clears throat> please. No more questions, please. Please. He writes down, <clears throat> someone you care about in danger, question mark. I won't ask you any more questions about it. I just want to know more about the man. You. Who? <laughs> I need to know what would drive someone to do this. Gives him the quill. Oh, I don't want to have to use the man's hands begin to shake he watches he nervously lifts towards the paper Kyler but you see the fear behind the eyes the fear that's there and the pen, the, the quills just slips out with a nine <clears throat> Get up, please. Please, get up, get up. <laughs> Family? Question mark. It's okay. Look. I've been there, okay? I fought alongside of you. <laughs> By who? I understand. There's probably a lot of stress going on, and... Uh... Maybe you're just trying to make some money. <laughs> Highlights by I won't. I won't answer that. Rolling. Oh god. Tyler, Jesus. you watch as He's terrified, Kyler. <clears throat> he's generally terrified by whoever this is. <laughs> Even with a twelve. He Seems he'd rather take whatever's to come to him than to answer this question. Nerez. Nobles. You see, Kyler, every question you begin to ask makes him more <clears throat> nervous by the second. You don't know how many more you'll be able to get from him. Let me help you. I can't do it unless I know what's going on. Rolling, Kyler. <laughs> you watch as the man picks up the quill. A slight drive to his eyes. You see, he taps it to the ink. See if you begin, see, he begins to write something down. You see, he begins to write, I do not know who it is. There was a third party. All I know, it was someone within the keep. And then the next thing I knew, my family was gone. I have no idea if they're alive or dead. Only that if I do not do what they tell me, and I do not speak. They will die. You trust Marco? <laughs> I 
<laughs> rips the butt of the paper out. Puts it to flame. We're <laughs> right. not getting anything else out of him today. He's not in his right mind. We'll give him time to breathe. Let him rest a little bit and we'll try again tomorrow. Bring Marco in. I'm alone. Marco. <laughs> well, he's fucking broken. He's not getting anything <laughs> out of him now. Give him time to rest. We'll try again tomorrow. Put him back in his cell and come back up here. Come on. <laughs> what is it, my lord? <clears throat> Tell you when Marco gets back. Mm. <clears throat> I trust something was gotten out of him. Unfortunately not. Marcus, you mind closing the door? He isn't going to talk anytime soon. Apparently someone from the keep has his family, and they're holding them hostage. That's why he's doing this, and that's why he's not talking about it. Oh. He doesn't know who. Fuck. He doesn't know where his family are. But he's being held against his will to do this. Mm. He says he trusts you. Any investigation into the keep is fucking suicide. Especially something like this. <clears throat> but, if that's the only lead we got... I don't want him to die on someone else's sword. Then what are your orders? Keep him here, make it look like he's not talking, or anything like that. If you know anything, or if you've heard rumors about someone that could be doing this inside the keep, look into them, otherwise I'll bring it up with my father, see if he can look into it. Let's play the courts, the nobles. Any inspector, let alone the head one. Looking into this matter could be on the chopping block. Not saying I'm not willing to do the risk, but if, if we're going to play the nobles' games, I suppose we have to expose their wrongdoing. We just need to figure out who's doing it, and then we can decide how to act from there. It, it's a good chance that whoever it is is just untouchable. But we won't know until we find out. It person. keeps a buzz right now, especially seeing now that the Baroness is awake. Yeah. Maybe in that chaos we can find something. Good call. We'll look into it. Alright. Thank you for your assistance. I will, um... I'll take this up to the custodian. Get his advice. Sorry I couldn't do more. Let him rest. We'll try again tomorrow. Who is you? Mm. Thank you. Have a good one. You as well. Come on, you two. 
I don't really feel like turning someone into a pulp tonight. Well, not him. Still need answers out of him. <clears throat> Speak of the man. Lamenting. Hail, my lord. Mm. Warning for the major. Hail. Mm. I'm gonna bring you up to speed on something when you're done with that. I'm not gonna be done with this for days. <laughs> then I'll leave it on your desk. Mm. It's a cascade of a fucking shitstorm, is what it is. <clears throat> yeah. That was a fucking catastrophe. Yeah, a catastrophe in a fucking half. Not surprised. What the fuck did they expect was going to happen? And what the fuck did they expect us to say? <laughs> Congratulations, the war is over. Dasko Bermain is in the hands of the Baronet. Not the Erdharts, not the Redod soldiers, not the Imperium. What? What? Oh, you haven't heard. I know. Charming. Haven't been informed. That makes no sense. Hang on. She's not sparing you. Want him. To or me? Right now, it's entirely up to her. I have no say, and neither does the major. We've been cut out of the negotiations in totality. Blindsided. Oh. All thanks to an apothecary and the Imperial Diplomat running past my picket lines all the way into the fort. We needed this. Go out. We needed this win. <clears throat> and a political measure, we needed this. And we have lost it. It slipped right through our fucking fingers. And the fallout from it... Not only asking why these assets were allowed to be out about by themselves without security, but why it was that <laughs> this girl and the apothecary were able to do it when seasoned officers were not. Of course, that's going to be swung like a cudgel. And it is. Towards you two. To spare you all the details, it's. <clears throat> yeah. It's hampering our ideals. And strengthening our enemies. <laughs> the only it's not fair, you busted your ass. Oh, they don't doesn't, care. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Said Brooker. Politics is all that matters. And there are nobles in there who will <clears> say whatever it is that they feel that they need to, either to maintain their power or to keep the upstarts in check, so to speak. That's a disgusting feeling. We're back at square one, personally. Yeah. I'm sorry, my lord. You and me both. The other major going to have to start to... This province is too grand for even the redoubt of the Imperial military to handle together. The orcs are in the thousands. They have their own forge, fortresses. They've built themselves in deep and have started digging. We don't know why. Okay. After whatever happened between Strider and the Rangers, they haven't been very keen on helping us with this problem as of late. The Major's scouts found an Anywhere from 30 to 40 dead rangers mangled in the woods, pulled apart oh by... Oh my god. I'm sure you can assume what. I have some rapport with them, I'll try and get in with them, but I... Fuck. <laughs> and we don't have Sif or the dwarves who are aiding in that, or... No, we don't. So for now, the Major and I are on damage control. 
Our best bet to deal with the orc threat at the moment is the major's men and tactics. Dodds are in. Even if we got those 400 something men and exonerate them, they still need to be reintegrated. Officers that can be trusted need to be appointed. The men that were here have to be willing to work with the men that were there. It's its own can of worms and problems. Yep. I can tell you now, the Imperial military will not want to work with robber baron men, especially those who believe that sunk the stalwart. It will be a grand deal to get them to do that. 1,300 men not willing to work with the opposition. That's going to give them every excuse to have you replaced. You realize that? Hmm. There it is. Maybe that's why. There's no calling for reinforcements either. What we have is what we have. Major and I'll catch up to you. There's not much more for us to speak about on this matter. Yep. I can find you shortly so you can fill me in. Yep. I'll uh, talk with you tomorrow, Major, if you don't mind. So broken. So, so. My door's open. Also, Major, there is a Aralandi delegation that's probably going to be looking for you in the next 15, 20 minutes. Can't wait. Just when I was a good guy. <clears throat> yep. It's gone all cloudy. Yep. Uh, what should we do in the meantime? <clears throat> Stay focused. Right. Stay focused. Did you see Sergeant Fenton in there with you all by chance? No. No, not quite. Oh, I owe him three silver for assaulting someone in the street. I'm not even gonna unpack that. All right, if we see him. Thank you. Mm. I'm sure. I'm sure People are openly assaulting now. Change their plans. <clears throat> I mean, you saw Silver Bane. I hope not. Yeah, I did. The brewer already paid 30 silver to clear her debt with him when she does that. Would y'all like some tea? Or anything? Do we have any rum? Um, I was about to concur. Might Something hard. Some have the special <clears throat> reserve left over from when the Baroness was here. If anything, can break it open. A of wine, but that's not... <laughs> okay. I doubt that's how it is. It was from uh, the Barons, I believe. They left it here. Great. It'll be the last one they're going to give us. Thank you, Ladia. What a fair, actually. <clears throat> <sighs> 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 
Well, that one's out of juice. This is some dark reserve. <laughs> Let's see. Really, both of my charges are fucking dead. Um, two shots of rum. <sighs> oh, these ones are good. Smells potent. Fucking good, Marcus. Not in my arm. No offense. <laughs> right. You know what? I'm gonna do the same. I'll be right back while I handle this. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Fuck, I put it on backwards. This is the shit that a good streamer would do before stream. <laughs> You know what? <sighs> I'm glad, um, the prison visit went as, I guess, well as bloody as it did. <sighs> Raises more questions, Marcus. Mm. <clears throat> oh, you look very regal, my lord. Thank you. <clears throat> <sighs> it's actually silk. It's actually quite oh. comfortable. <clears throat> that looks really nice, and this is really strong. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ooh, it's got a... It's got like a heat to it. Exactly. Ooh. That's exactly what I need. Ooh. <clears throat> it goes down smooth. Uh, at least. Mm. Oh, God. So. 
Aside from when you were with me, what did you guys get up to today? Oh, well, um, Tiberius, go ahead. You look like you were going all over town. I was doing some work for the guards, actually, and then started training some of the cavalry up more. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that's good. I came to a, an agreement with uh, Stefano to help assist the guardsmen in their ability to perform cavalry maneuvers and whatnot in exchange for one of the robber baron's uh, war, war horses. Uh, we attempted to mm. do that with the QRF. They're a little more trained than the general chaff. Uh, Stefano's looking to create a scouting force, so <clears throat> that way they can maneuver, scout, and, if needed, uh, insert themselves. I, I think he's planning a means of dealing with the orcs. What's the QRF? Quick response force. <clears throat> we had it set up oh. when Arn was um, preoccupied. The job was to run along the front mm. line, and if a breach came through, they would handle it. Anything behind the front lines, the QRF would move to. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hmm. What I'm working with right now is individuals who want to uh, essentially put, want to do uh, ranged attack maneuvers. So, they are crossbowmen on horses, but they cannot fire on the horse. <clears throat> so they would dismount, release volleys onto their targets, remount, relocate, and repeat. The rubber baron hmm. deployed people two up on horses, crossbowmen on the back. They would skirmish using them. We struggled to handle that for the longest time. Maybe that's something to look into. I could try. But there's a danger to trying to have a crossbow and shoot on the back of a horse. Mm. They used it to honest. great effect. Well, maybe we might be meeting a few soon. Yeah, if I could ask them. Like the horse archers of the north, <clears throat> right? It's different though, isn't it? They're using uh, a little bit mm, smaller bows, right? So they have more range of motion. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Mm. A bow is much simpler, to understand than a crossbow. Uh, it takes it's too uh, technical. It takes too much force to reload while riding. Harder to train an archer though. Easier to point it and shoot a crossbow. to train archer. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Mm. You get one shot, one good shot. That's mm -hmm. it. Spending the next 30 to 40 seconds to reload. At that time, and a good archer could have maybe two to three shots at you at that time. Yes. But traditionally, you use crossbows <sighs> for hey, you, get up on that wall and shoot anyone, kind of thing, you know? <laughs> or if you have a shield, <clears throat> you're able to pop down into the ground and hide behind that. True. Uh, quiet. I wish I had one of those tower shields. God. Besides that, uh, speaking with Marcus in regards to tomorrow's escapades. Um, hmm. Not much else, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm, I'm just beside myself with rage, you know? I haven't been this mad at someone in a very long time. Right. You feel like all the hard work you just did didn't really turn out. The <sighs> amount of bleeding both Arn and I have done, for, I just... And to have it thrown out the window because Ladia's being Ladia. <clears throat> she claims to be a diplomat, but doesn't see the response she would get by doing this, you know? Do you think Faye had a bigger hand then? Faye shouldn't have brought Ladia to the Baroness to begin with. Right. I don't know why she thought that was a good idea, other than the fact that Faye is entirely too naive and too trusting of yeah. people. And on top of that, she didn't say anything, she didn't tell us of anything, and I've had this conversation with her 
five, six times. Every time she runs off into the fucking woods and gets attacked by orcs, I have to tell her, hey, tell us so we can come with you and save your ass. But she doesn't. So. And she's <clears throat> been talking very closely with the Baroness every day <clears throat> she was here. Yep. Um, but the Baroness was partially out of it. I bet she doesn't even remember half the conversation. Even less the reason mm. why you would follow her into enemy territory, you know? You know? Like... Right. Mm. Probably the reinforcement that she was the one that cured her didn't help with that front. We're really fucked politically now. We used to have weight. Uh, in a big picture kind of way, how how bad off? Square one, as Alan said. Bad. Oh, that sucks. Mm, that hurts. <clears throat> We're pretty much going to have to reprove ourselves. Unless we can spin this somehow, but the Imperium's going to try and spin it too. <clears throat> so... Right. It's a less It's a less of a situation of the mantle, so to speak. Proof of great warriors, however, it's also proof of ineptimism of not able to complete the job that a woman who was bedridden for <clears throat> how long? Years. It was about a week or two? Oh, oh, in total, right. Was able to complete the task that, well, <sighs> veterans could not. They've been closed out of negotiations. That's how bad it is. They haven't... They've closed out. The person in charge of the force keeping them safe and the person in charge mm -hmm. of their own force keeping them safe. Close security. They've closed them out completely of these negotiations. These are the people you want in those sort of negotiations. If that doesn't, give, if that doesn't tell you a story, just... then I don't know what does. I'm still baffled how that happened. How what I'm happened? just confused. <laughs> but all this, what, what was just relayed to us, that two people can do that? Apparently so. Gonna need more rum. Yeah, now you understand. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I made a promise. I'm trying. Not to mention, you know, we're all... So getting the next mess being thrown right on your table to be expected results with. Wait, they expect you and us to deal with the orcs? No. Or send? Oh. Well, they will, but yes, I know what you're referring to. Oh, what's <clears throat> what's the next one? This fucking guy releasing prisoners. Oh. Not even that, my lord. Unfortunately, there's an even bigger pressing matter that will be precedent. The joining of the two armies. Yeah, you know, it would make that a lot smoother is having the people in charge of that at the meeting when they're laying down terms. Right. Mm. Security in the city is going to worsen. Security in the realm is going to worsen all the time. There'll be murders in the street worse than before. They're handing us a bucket with holes. I keep saying, surely there's something filled. we can do. Before Damage control. It gets too far. <clears throat> it's already too far. What we were trying to do, I was trying to talk to Venora before this, and nothing fucking went through. That was trying to prevent something like this happening. Mm. Ladia being fucking kidnapped would have been a great reason to not do this. She was the- she- mm. she did something like this, got herself kidnapped, and nearly lost the entire war. You would think that would be a wake-up call. Right. But it wasn't. Mm. <sighs> I feel hollow on the inside. Yeah, join the fucking club. <laughs> so, we talked to Laudia and Faye and 
There's nothing to talk about. The deed has been done. The damage <clears throat> is there. We can't work with them anymore. They'll have favor in courts, and that's about all they'll get, to be honest. Maybe if they're lucky, one of them might get a appointed as a lady to the Baroness as a reward, so to speak. That is the last fucking thing we need. If only this potion I bought from them today would even fucking do anything. What is it? It's a tier two. I thought, hey, you know, the apothecaries have potions. We need them. So I went and bought one. I didn't know all that was going to happen, though. Mm, doesn't matter. <laughs> business is still business. It still requires services, begrudgingly. Right. So we try How to do you want to normal? move forward with them? Oh, my yeah. Lord. I'm. I... <sighs> They're as naive as each other, and I've worked so hard to understand them and work alongside them. I've stuck my neck out for them. <laughs> I mean, I. When I got your ass out of Tell or Keep. Part of the main thing was getting her fucking boyfriend out, Hello? too. Hey, Dad. At ease, gentlemen. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, We're I want drinking. you all in your armor. We're going to seize the iron mine ourselves. I'll tell the Radards after we've done it. The Imperials will be lending us their support. We need to gain forward momentum, and it needs to be us who does it. Agreed. I'm we'll be flack for doing it without speaking about it. So be it. The only issue we're going That's to run issue. into is a robber baron's men might not surrender. I am loath to lose good fighting men, but we cannot wait. The orc threat is there and present. <clears throat> we need iron. The other issue is that because of Merendel's deal before his departure, for whatever reason, he puts the iron mine in Markle Morgul's hands. That will give Markle complete control over the iron and stone in the region, and I cannot have that. We need to wrest control of the iron back, whether it's through diplomacy or whatever else, my son. I need you to convince him that he needs to regulate the ownership of the mine to us. His workers can stay. <sighs> Tall order, but I'll do my best. Greedy little fuck. You'll succeed. Yeah. <laughs> we will try negotiating with them. I will bring proof that Dasko Bomain is in our custody. And if they refuse to stand down, the Imperials will assist us in breaching their gate. And we will push in and take it by force. We're out of time, gentlemen. Make sure you rest tonight. I'm old. I know. Mm. Let's get some fucking momentum. Right. <sighs> Looks like I'll have that all at least prepped and ready for tomorrow. <clears throat> Back to the thicker room. Well. Well, we have the good stuff. Um, perhaps some inspiring words. I told you this earlier, about not saying anything nice. That's fair. <laughs> <sighs> As for the two of them, <clears throat> I've bent over backwards for both of them so many fucking times. I you risked your life. Multiple several times. times. You know, as yeah. I was saying, when I got you out, it was to get Sir X out too. That was the main mm. priority. <clears throat> and then she had the audacity to ask me to save his life again when he got captured for <laughs> being Pasha. Right. Mm. 
and Venora. It just doesn't add up. I don't know how many times I've come to her read, and I don't know how many times I've told her to tell me about this <laughs> shit before she does it, and she still doesn't do it. I don't know how many times I told her, stay in the house, or if you leave the house, go with a guard. She didn't do it. I, I, don't bring people into the house. She did it. I, they, they prance their way through this, leaving f fucking fires for the rest of us to put out, and they don't seem to realize the, right. the harshness of their actions, which, Venora is one thing, she's naive as fuck, but Lady Heidemann is a diplomat. Right. So, I don't have time for them. I don't have it in me anymore. Venora was like, hey, I'm it's thinking like, about going in and Venora getting... doesn't know how much power she wields <clears throat> as wielder of her home. And all the stuff she knows, and is she a liability? Yes. Um, has she become too much of a liability? No. But think okay. about how much and how often we've had to assist her and help her with some weird fuckery or some goose chase of something, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and she repays us by not listening that to us. This is exactly. She saves you with insane magic. It's exactly what I was telling you today. Exactly what I was telling you earlier. You spend an entire fucking lifetime looking after these people, and as soon as it starts mm. to matter, or it comes down to putting the chips down, out the fucking window. Same thing's happening with the fucking barons right now. Arn especially, and myself, and, and you, and you, have bled for them. Mm. And this one thing is going to pff, out the window. Back to square one. As if to spoil... I don't, not to spoil, sorry. As if to tell down a mischievous child. Do we give her an ultimatum at this point? What would that be? It... I don't know. If, if she continues to ruin <laughs> what you have going for you, it seems. There's no point in doing that. That would just strain a relationship that we already one-sidedly have already been damaged. That they are painfully She almost risked of. our Lord's life when she pulled the maneuver with the vineyard. Yeah. <laughs> and if she had gone out there and gone... <laughs> And, and, and gotten the right. Baroness captured, who, who does that fall back on? We have all of the risk and none of the reward. S something's gotta break. Something's gotta change. We have changed. Arn just told us it's changing. We're not gonna sit in the fucking mud and spin our wheels anymore. Time's up. We need to push okay. forward. We need to start getting a little... Need the momentum. A little bit dirty. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm I'm here with you. To the end. Yeah, I mean, if they're gonna reward irrational behavior, like what the Baroness did, fuck it. Right. Let's go take back the mine. <laughs> right. Uh. Absolutely. Why not? This could so be a sour point, though, and later down the line. I will admit to it. Everything does, Tiberius. Mm. Literally, literally, everything I do, there is a consequence to it. I have negotiations with people, I piss off people. I go and I help someone, yeah. I get hurt. I don't help someone, they get hurt. Literally, everything I've fucking done since becoming a lord here has had a trade-off of some sort. There is no clear path forward. You're just trying to make the best of the worst. Kind of and thing. I hate being in that fucking position. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the option was literally given to me today. Spend more rob uh, imper Spend more Radod lives, or risk the woodcutter. There's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. That's not good. 
the 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 best scenarios in 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 the choices that I'm given in in the options that I have when I deal with these fucking morons. The best case scenario <laughs> is that someone doesn't get killed right then. Don't don't worry about down the line, but right yeah. then. That is the best case scenario in in these fucking morons. Yeah, hey, they get to say the last uh, prayers, you know. <clears throat> I'm just... It's exhausting. It is. I know I'm supposed to be positive and to mm. rally you guys and You whatnot. got rings under your eyes. <laughs> My lord, there are times where even the best of us must release the stress that they bear. And that you're comfortable around us says volumes, and we appreciate it. Hmm. Well, there's that party at the tavern for, you know, end of the war, huh. or whatever. It's not over yet. I know. For all we know. Uh, Miss, Miss Claudia was chanting a, and a, screaming in the streets, you know. Yeah, I nearly fucking punched it. For all we know, this could today. be an Andosco plot, too. This could be also an Andosco plot as well. Really going in mm. and then, who knows, a, a night attack takes place. <clears throat> We already know he can position people in the town. He's already done it before. Mm. Right. Many times. Well, if we wake up tomorrow, we'll take the iron mine. How about that? Fuck's sake. Yeah. We could sleep in the basement. Just so we have no way out? <laughs> oh, no, just to, you know, make sure we're at least a little bit safe. I don't know. Um, the town um, Nautus has been often safe for a very long time since my stay. No offense. Well, at mm. least now we have a place to hold people with our own makeshift prison. Oh. But yeah, you're right. It, the town's gone mad. Well, we can hope tomorrow's a better day. Yep. We can. But it's going to be a bloody one, my bet. We can only go up from here. Don't say that. Sorry. You've just jinxed it for us all. Look, is where no, I no. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'll catch you guys later. Bright and early. Alright, my lord. Was that someone at the door? Oh, well, my lord. I think so. I'll get it. <sighs> you might need to hold me back, buddy. <clears throat> Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, my hand slipped. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <sighs> You've had kids. I've taken care of many. Is this what it's like? No, actually not as bad. <laughs> because most of them are orphans and understand that they don't have much and they are grateful for the little they get. That sounds familiar. And that they had... <laughs> but every day you get knights and people of an order to take care of them. bring a drink to you. <laughs> so, you're already about to head off to bed, I believe. I'll have a nightcap. <laughs> oh, is she gone now? I'll, I'll go bark at her. No, it's fine. I'll just... Don't worry about go, it. Go bark at her, Marcus. No, he's already barking at her. Let him, let him go. Ooh, he's only have to stay until he gets back. You can just bring it up to the old room.
Night, Tiberius. Good night, my lord. Has there always been a crack here? <laughs> oh, yes. I, I fell through it a few times. Marcus! What you don't want to do is fall through the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want it anymore. I chased her through town. Thanks, I don't want it anymore. Thanks, Marcus. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would, yeah, I yeah. would, I would never <laughs> say no to alcohol. Good night, you two. Right. Good night, my lord. Good night, my lord. Well, could go to the bathhouse and claim every bit of flesh in there, or get a head start on sleep for the morning. You guys would just hear Kyla throwing I shit around his room, just books. Bookcases, oh. chairs.